it's kind of brighter than I thought. Yeah. Hey. Oh, we're recording. Yes. Oh, yeah. So here's at the beginning of our project. We're going to show all the differences in Lhasa in the last few years. So this is specifically because Craig and Sarah asked us to. Yes. But I think other people might want to see the differences. I left in 2010, and we'll show you all the things that have changed in the city of Lhasa since then. Let's begin. Let's begin. Don't worry. Cobblestones are still here. And they are as bumpy as ever. Front gate, it's basically the same. We're gonna head out east today because that's where the new campus has gotten crazy. Before it used to be just a new campus and a bunch of fields, you'll see a lot more things there now. Traffic circle is intact. Still scary as ever. We still got the same electronics market. But they're doing something across the road. Not exactly sure why. But it basically looks the same all the way up until the first hotel here. Recently there's been a ton of markets in front of the hotel. Except for a weekend. One thing that popped up are these bikes everywhere, like they have in other parts of China. I haven't actually seen anyone riding them, but there's empty slots, so somebody must be riding them.
coming up on the craziest new part. modern art type architecture. Right across to the new campus. This is probably the craziest new thing. A month or two ago. I think we missed it though, because it used to give away free passes. There's a natural history museum. When I picked, my students showed me some pictures of like, uh, the local wildlife, some old bones and skeletons. But the outside is, I mean, it's gorgeously done. I'm not sure when the next set is gonna open. All right, we're starting close to the new five-star hotel, Intercontinental, right ahead of me. We'll show you more when we get there. Until then. See a little bit of ice in the pond. Apparently they have uh, thousands that go up sometimes, but I've never actually seen them. So when we were here years ago, there was nothing here. Now we have a five-star hotel. All right. Took a stop just in front, take some pictures. Now we're off to the crazy part. Education City. There's a whole city to the east of the Intercontinental over the bridge. When before there was nothing. So we'll come back soon when we get close to the bridge. As I fall off a curb. All right, talk to you soon. Constantly new houses every well perfect everywhere you go. Yeah. Basically just empty shells. Rumor is they're really expensive too by the other teachers. You must be expecting also to grow in population <laughs> very soon. Coming up upon the bridge. Brand new bridge. And this bridge heads to uh, Education City. When you hear At least that's the name in Chinese. 
So, off to Education City, a when city that did not exist five years ago. Your eyes, I will dry them all. I'm on your side. Oh, when times get rough And friends just can't be found Like a bridge over troubled water I will lay me down Like a bridge over troubled Water, I will lay me down. When you're down and out, when you're on the street, when evening falls so hard I will comfort you I'll take your part when darkness comes and pain is all around like a a trip to the edge of town which is way farther away so you go if you go behind me you go to Ling Jir, and you head back over the bridge to Lhasa or head this way to Lhasa which might be the way we head back so here's the new city that wasn't here five years ago Sarah and Craig and Heidi and Bethany and whoever else remembers Lhasa as a very small <laughs> as a much smaller place all right, until we leave, talk to you soon.